Just because you're gay doesn't mean you can't shoot straight. Nobody implied that, sir. Okay. I have a right to equal protection. And I don't want to hear any bullshit. Or you will see pickets around this office up to your male chauvinist ass. Why does everybody have to use such bad language around here? I haven't got any fucking idea. Well, Mr. Hamburger, back again, it seems. Your file was transferred to the deputy commissioner's office. And then the assistant district attorney sent a note down to the license. I'm flattered. All those top dogs troubling themselves? Well, you shot several people, Mr. Hamburg. Only three. I can't go out and buy my house without my gun. I'll be a dead man. Good. Please check it one more time. Good. Yeah. So I was thinking a 38 caliber Smith & Wesson snub nose, the really cute one, that'll let them know that I want to be taken seriously. I'll tell you. I'm not getting ripped off again. One of those muggers comes up to me, I'm gonna blow his fucking head off. Okay, what do you say? Huh? What do you mean it's not approved? You gotta approve this goddamn license! Or else I'll blow your goddamn brains out! Application approved. Don't move, it. Where's your legs, baby? Damn it. That's four. I'm sorry. Forget it. Can I move now? Yeah. I need a drink. I've already done enough for you for one day. My name is Hamburger. Please, no jokes about the name. On January 1st, the population of New York was 7,161,400. But I can't figure out is, how come half this town knows my face? Have you come up with any more evidence? Well, we're right on the brink of something. I can feel it now. Actual proof? Now you just leave it to us. Well, it's been such a long road. Oh, I nearly forgot, Mr. Hamburg. I nearly forgot to pay you. Thank you. Rita, why don't you make out a receipt for Mrs. Yes. Best? I don't know what I'd do without you two. You're the only people who listen and understand. Here you go. Uh, 
turkey was very tasty. Can I give you a ride home now? My taxi's right on time. Oh, no, no, thank you. My doctor says I should walk. Here, let me help you. It's all right, dear. I can make it under my own steam. Well, happy new year. Happy new year. Be careful. That five dollars does more good for her than all the doctor bills in the world. How many she used to she ate for six ninety five? I'll do something big for her next week. You know, one day you're gonna fly down to Dallas and really solve it for her. A belated Merry Christmas. Well, this must be Mr. Burton. You're right on time. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, what I'd like to talk about is the confidential. Rena and I don't have any secrets. Well, let's make the gentleman comfortable. I'll go for the Hagen dazs He adores Hagen dazs Vanilla Swiss Allen. And don't let it melt. Uh, that's trouble with her. Around her, everything does. Everything. Uh, you come to me highly recommended, but uh, what kind of a place is this to do business in? I'm an unemployed person. I hang out in delicatessens all day and hope that work will turn up. You mean you're a detective without a license? I've got a lot of trouble with licenses. That's why I don't own a car or a dog. Very well. Uh, let me get to the point. The thing is, you see, uh, I'd like to get my wife murdered, and I thought maybe you could do something about it. Could you be a little more direct? Mm hmm I don't care how you do it. A gun, your hands, a pillow, perhaps. What makes you think I'm in that line? You're involved in so many circumstances where people die violently. It's accidental. I try to wound people, but I get a lousy aim. Oh, I know you've never been indicted for anything. Let's drive. Now, let's go to my office. some $100,000 in cash. Now, if you can't do it yourself, surely you can find me someone who can. Act as your middleman, keep you insulated? I wouldn't know where to look. I'm sure you're well connected. You just say 100000 Well, that's what you said. It's a lot of cash. Can you tell me some nasty things about your wife, things that might make it easier? What can I say about her? Sharon is really, actually, a very pleasant person, very active in charities. The problem is she knows too much about my business, things that could ruin me with my partners, not to mention the tax people. And you know how bitchy the nice ones can get when they've been crossed. Yeah, I've run across a few nice ones in my time. Do you have a photograph of Sharon in your billfold? Certainly. Here's a photograph. I've prepared an itinerary of her daily activities, a plan and keys to our New York apartment, a map and keys to our weekend place on the island. I, uh, I trust you'll know how to dispose of these when you've finished with them. Thanks for the compliments. Shall we say, uh, 25,000 in cash now and, uh, Balance upon 
execution of our agreement? Well, I need to take your money if I'm not able to go through with it. Bad for my conscience. Conscience? All right, I'm squeamish. I don't like the sight of dead bodies. Then why do you make so many? I'm off to Chicago. I should be back for our annual New Year's bash next Tuesday. It'd be nice if I didn't have a date for that party. Make me a widower, Mr. Hamburg. I thought this Christmas season was gonna be, you know, the kind you see in the movies. Me and Rena in front of a warm fire. Well, you know the rest. Instead, here I am driving 50 miles out in the suburbs because some guy offers me 100 grand to kill his wife. I wanna meet the woman that's worth $100,000. After all, I did take the down payment. This refrigerator is larger than my apartment. You've got a great buddy, but that gun is distracting. I don't even know if this thing is loaded. I just pulled it out from under the bed where my husband keeps it. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if I pulled this trigger and nothing happened? Wouldn't it be more embarrassing if something did? So, are you going to steal the jewelry? My stereo? Nope. I didn't hear any glass breaking. Well, I had a key, several keys. And to your place in the city, too. You might say I work for your husband. What, you work for Alex? Mm -hmm. You just came out here to pick something up? No, I took something away. You. You mind if I sit down? I'd really rather you didn't. It's easier to hit a standing target. I don't think so. Um, you gave me your picture. Which pocket? This pocket. Not bad. Well, this is terrible. Alex took this one himself. Yeah, he takes his own pictures, but doesn't do his own murders. And if you're so outraged, then why did you take this job? Well, if I had turned him down, he would have looked elsewhere and found somebody else. And then one day, I'd see another picture of you splashed across the centerfold of the Daily News, and it would ruin my morning. Oh. And now you can wake up to a whole series of unending guiltless mornings, right, Mr. Uh... Hamburger, please. Don't make fun of my name. Well, 
this thing was unloaded? You'll never know. There's um, more chicken in the refrigerator. Yes, I saw. Now, hold on, though. I don't want to fall down drunk on my head. This one's for you. Thank you. Besides, I might fall in your direction. Would you catch me? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how are you planning to do it? With your big, strong hands? Or do you have a large, blunt instrument on? I like to improvise. Oh, good. So do I. I'm sure you can make it uh, quick and painless. It's more than life can be. <laughs> mm. God, I had no idea you criminals led such exciting lives. <laughs> I'm not a criminal, exactly. <laughs> what, an outlaw then? You like that better? Mm. job on my husband. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry I asked. It wouldn't be ethical. I mean, after all, he asked me first. Boy, is he going to be surprised when he comes home and finds me playing hostess at his little New Year's bash. Get out of play. Get out of town. I'd forget about the festivities over you. <laughs> You like me, Hamburger, I can tell. <laughs> it's coming to me in waves. Him. You were great. I took your advice and split. Love, Sharon. That's the easiest $25,000 I ever made. Now all I gotta do is come up with a story for a husband. Sam, what are you doing out here in the suburbs? <laughs> Keep the chain. Right. Rena, I had to spend the night with Mrs. Burton because her plane didn't leave until this morning. I know the way, Bozo. <clears throat> oh, here goes nothing. should wear. Uh, it should increase your tips. Hi. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. You're lying. 
lying. What am I lying about? You're lying. <laughs> I'm not lying about it. I didn't even say anything. What do you mean I'm lying? Because I can tell. I mean, aren't you gonna get? You're gonna catch cold in that dress. No, I'm not. It has gloves to go with it. Oh, good, great. Let's. Can we see the gloves? Come on, I'll show you. I'm gonna put them on so I don't hurt my knuckles when I hit you and beat you to a pulp. What are you gonna hit me for? I didn't do anything. Yeah. What did I do? I'm gonna feel pretty shabby next to you. Yeah, so I rented you a tux. What, just sit around the apartment in? I like us to be alone. This way I got you all to myself. Hmm. But let, let me put some of this stuff up for you. Oh. As I was going up Pippin Hill, Pippin Hill was dirty. And there I met her pretty miss, and she dropped me a curtsy. Little miss, pretty miss, all blessings light upon you. If I had half a crown a day, I'd gladly spend it on you. Bullshit. So, how's the young lady out on Long Island? And not so young, but a nice woman. Yeah? Should I put this up? How nice. I can't lie to you, Arena, because you'd know. I didn't kill her, and I didn't sleep with her either. You didn't, huh? It's a pretty big shock when she found out her husband wanted to have her iced. Hmm. Bet she cried all over your little shoulder now, didn't she? Oh, and I bet you made her feel just like a woman again, right? I talked to her. Oh, I bet you told her all about me. I told her all about your cabin and everything, OK? Yeah, right. <clears throat> Put it on. Io penso che tu sei meraviglioso. Oh, please. Car. You better put it on quick. You know I'd never shoot you in a rented tux. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> $25,000. Yeah. I thought that hit, hit this pretty good. <laughs> Not too good. You Took mean, me about four minutes to find you it. You just walked into my apartment and just ransacked the damn place. <laughs> I didn't have to ransack. I'm going to have to get myself a vicious dog to kick off my oh, property. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and he'll learn to love me too. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, I love you. Madeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sure you do. Better hold on to this before I lose it. I'll certainly do that. Yeah. Oh, hello, Paul. Enjoying the scenery? <laughs> well, not all of it. <laughs> Maybe if he wasn't here, it'd be better. Well, season's greetings, Lieutenant. <laughs> what the fuck do you got to be so jolly about? I'm glad you came by. Rena and I picked up for you for Christmas. A year's supply of odor eaters. <laughs> what is that, a joke? It's very funny. You're a regular comedian. <laughs> I got one for you, funny man. You know a lady named Mrs. Alex Burton? Does she say I know her? Well, she doesn't say anything. You see, they found her dead in her house out in Hamptons. And your fingerprints are all over the fucking place. Including the bedroom. Oh, now you're painting me a pretty picture How did yeah? she die? Well, she was shot at close range. Now, you want to deny you were there? I put her on a plane. She must have come back. You put her on a plane? Yeah. Hey, you. I said, hey, you. Wait a minute now. Whoa, you're really something. 
You've ruined my entire New Year's Eve here. Wait a minute. I used to believe that well, shit. Well, Rita, let me explain it, it to you. But he's smart. Well, wait a second. Maybe she finally she does has, understand. Why don't you mind your fucking fuck I sure as hell do understand. I got you all figured out now. You're about that, boy. You were with her. All right, come on. Wait a second. All right. Hey, listen, maybe you can read a confession out of it. I'm not allowed to. I had enough of you. Wait a minute, let me... Shit. Shut up. Oh, I've had enough right. here. You've lost uh, it my entire life. Wait a minute, let me explain, Rita. Explain? You've got the right to remain oh, silent, wow. asshole. Oh, yeah, come on. Let me explain to you. I, 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 I was. I felt sorry for her, so I... Sorry? I, yeah, I so, sorry for her? I, shut up! Okay? Wait a second, I've got a few presents for you, buddy. It's over. You want to take a few things with you? Here, could you hold this, please? Absolutely. I don't want to... That's right. Here, take your yeah. coat, too. Shithead, take everything. Take your fucking balloons. Take your tux there. Yeah. Take your light and get out, okay? It's over. You understand? It's over. That's right. It's over between you and I. Get out. I don't want to hear it. Stand still when I'm throwing shit at you. Here, take this chick. fuck him. Get this out. This is a piece of shit. Shut up. Something else. You're a real humanitarian. He's a real humanitarian when it comes to women, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Okay. You can have him now. Thank you. Son of a bitch! God damn it! He never ever listens. Damn it. Excuse me. May I see your invitation, please? I work for Alex Burton. Hey, what's the matter? Are you afraid you're going to miss the new year? I'm ending it right. arrived that your guest of honor was misbehaving. What guest of honor? I thought this was Alex Burton's party. It is. All the more busy he could not attend. It seems his plane is grounded in Chicago because of a blizzard. But uh, such is fate. That definitely wasn't Alex Burton that just took that dive. And who the hell was he? I have no idea. back. Hey, <laughs> you're giving up your whole New Year's on my account. Well, he started off pretty shitty. I understand a guy went through a window on a Times Square tonight. Yeah, I got a great view of it. I heard. You did? Now just relax. I want to take your piece off you. Well, I am relaxed. You're the one who's not relaxed. What'd you do with Rita? Lock her up? Come on, you know better than that. You know, it's really amazing. You abuse this kid. And she still sticks with you. I don't understand. Well, she only cares what I do when we're together. And we do just great, thank you very much. You know, we know each other a long time. Yeah, that's true. You're making me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! I want all of it. 
The guy said he was burdened. He laid 25 grand on me to kill his wife. I kept it and warned her. That's all. Well, where's the money? Rena's got it. Rena? You stupid bastard. You're making her an accessory. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, get in the car. I never knew how strongly you felt about her. Come on, in the car. I'm awfully glad you got that out of your system. So am I. I feel better now. I don't. Go ahead, take a walk. Take a look at the lady's body. Medical examiner's got it. Well, I could use a doctor right about now. Look, Rena's gonna ask you to do this to you. Um, I'll tell her I got mugged. Uh, you can take these cuffs off. Now. I'll take the cuffs off and we'll get the belt in. You've been beating the shit out of me since we were 12 years old. When do I get to win one? Never. You better take these cuffs off me before I make a citizen's complaint about you. Turn around. As your wrist. Here. What do you mean, how's my wrist? It hurts. Wipe your lip. Keep walking. What did I tell you? Isn't that something? What a waste. This isn't the Mrs. Burton I saw. And screwed? This is a much younger woman. This woman just had intercourse shortly before she died. Oh, not with me, not this one. Has anybody else made an identification now? Sure. The mother, the brother, they both were here. That's Sharon Burton, all right. And what about the husband? That's him. That's Burton. What? Not even close. You've been royally fucked what up. What the hell is going on here? Who are you guys? What right do you have to be in here looking at her like this? You're a very devoted husband, Mr. Burton. Who is he? Lieutenant Lefferts. This man claims that someone pretending to be you approached him and offered him money to murder your wife. What are you saying? This isn't a burglary? About your height? A little thinner? Steel gray hair? You'll find a version of him on that cold slab over there. Why would someone put a contract out on your wife, Mr. Burton? This man took money to kill Sheriff? Hey, I want to hurt him you lay bad. Off. Lay off or I'll lock your ass up! Wexler, it's all right. Just wait out by the car. Next time, I'll hit him harder. Go ahead. Wexler was very devoted to Mrs. Burton. I understand. Everybody's kicking my ass today. But are you going to arrest him or charge him or what? Well, we want to take our time with this, Mr. Burton. We want a conviction. Not some mess that goes to the Court of Appeals and gets reversed on us. I've already been brutalized twice today, so I think you're going to be a little out of luck on that account. This man bleeds. What do you know? <laughs> I'd like to have one more time alone with my wife, please. Come on, Hamburger, let's go. DA wants to see you. Come on. I said alone. This guy Brent was pretty torn up. And I guess it doesn't matter how much money you got. It's still a bitch. Well, yeah, Wexler's pretty upset, too. Right. You're really gonna book me, aren't you? The assistant DA wants to shout at you first. Let's go. Dr. This is really great. I get pulled out of my own New Year's party at 4.30 a.m. to have a conference with you two. Alex Burton is a major figure on Wall Street and a big contributor to the mayor's campaign fund. 
Now, that puts a lot of pressure on our office to charge somebody with his wife's murder. And for example? He'll do. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't murder her. Shut up. I'll handle this. Oh, you'll handle this? You were obviously too busy to see the late news tonight. You made television history. A man flew out of a 20th floor window and landed in the middle of Times Square at midnight. Look, I can explain what happened. I'm giving you till 10 p.m. on Friday night to apprehend the killer. And it had better stick. Happy New Year. On national television? Oh, I swear to God, I don't know what's happening. Somebody is setting me up. But I'm gonna find out what's going on. Cam, you got the 10 o'clock Friday night. That's all I can give you. I'm hungover and I'm not even drunk. Uh, Rita! Oh, oh, New Year's Eve, I get my ass kicked. And nobody shows up at my fucking party, man. Rita! Happy New Year, baby! Rita! For all the places be forgot. Rita! Happy New Year, neighbor! Marina? Don't die on me. Don't move. On your knees. Yes, ma'am. So now that you've ruined my New Year's for the third year in a row, what you got to say for yourself, buddy? Grounds for justifiable homicide. Hmm. I thought you were going to shoot me. Well, I would have, but I didn't want them to shoot you first. Oh, that's that, that's thoughtful of you, dear. Ow. Well, Happy New Year, darling. I see Paul finally got to you. Mm. He was pretty mad at me, you know. I told him he could spank me. <laughs> and? He said he'd save the spanking for you. He did, huh? Mm-hmm. So who screwed up the wall? Over there. I figure it's got to be somebody looking for you. I would have went after him, but as you can see, I'm butt naked. Well, then you better get down before somebody shoots you. Well, they were after you. You were the only witness to Mr. Burton's proposition. Only Mr. Burton wasn't Mr. Burton, and Mrs. Burton wasn't Mrs. Burton. <laughs> Does that mean we don't get to keep the cash? Oh, you beautiful mercenary <laughs> creature, bitch, you. Yes, we get to keep the cash, provided we come up with a murderer by Friday, 10 p.m. Ooh, that means we got lots of time, right? Come here. <laughs> now you can go over to Sharon Burton's apartment and talk to the doorman, the huh? delivery boy, the 
the janitor. Wait a second. How come I have to talk to the delivery boys and the janitors? And, and you get to talk with the limousine drivers and the call girls and all the What's fun the stuff. Boys love you, baby. Yeah, well, I'm going to make them love me. <laughs> hey, check it out now. AC's the name of three cup minus the game. We're gonna play one time now. Red card is one of black cards losing. Understand? Red to move ahead, black yeah, to stay I, back. I, you got I, it? I, Good. AC, I, which one you want, man? Which one you want? Come on now. You sure? You sure? You sure you, sure you got the money to pay for it, brother? You sure you got yo, you got the money to pay? That's one. Hey, no problem. You want it, brother? Check it out. Check hey, it out. Man. Here you go, son. No problem. Hey, look, man, today will be your lucky day. You must oh, check it out, man. Red card, red card. Hey, what do you say, Willie? Boy, you're looking good. Hamburger. In person. You're not looking that bad yourself today. Thank you very much. Enjoying La Dolce Vita? La Dolce what? Good life, Willie. The good life. Come on, let's take a walk down the uh, boulevard here. Sure, what's on your mind? Well, Willie, a woman got murdered out on Long Island a few days ago. Mrs. Alex Burt. She was an addict. And you supply her. Hey, 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 wait a minute, man. Don't try to put that shit on me, man. Who says so? I say so. Don't bullshit me, Willie. Wait a minute, man. I do not discuss my client's business, all right? Well. I'm going to tell you why you're going to help me out. It's nice to lend a hand to an old friend. <laughs> friend? Let me tell you something. I don't think you have any friends. And uh, you hurt my feelings, Willie. I don't care about me hurting your feelings, man. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Now, how would a woman like that come in contact with scum like you? Oh, man, look, it was Jane Mallory who got in that shit. Who? Jane Mallory, she has got that modeling agency, man. She got a whole lot of people in the drugs, man. Her girls bring that top grade stuff in from Europe. All right? Oh, God! You know what, man? People are right about you. You're nuts! You gotta be fucking committed! Hi, Mallory Agency. Yes. No, we have general interviews from 1 to 5 on Wednesdays. I'm just bring you a book five. Thanks. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Hi, may I help you? Well, that depends on you. Really? Well, then you're going to have a terrific day. You can start by getting me in to see Miss Mallory. Oh, is that all? Will that be difficult? Um... Great name. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, um, there's a Mr. Hamburger here to see Miss J. Mallory. Uh, no, he does not have an appointment. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Well, I'm gonna need that back. It's the only one I got. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you supply the models for the TV commercials for the Burton Fund? Yep, we do all their print and TV spots. Then Alex Burton's been up here? Personally? Excuse me. Yes. OK, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Why don't you ask Miss Mallory that? As a matter of fact, she's been expecting you, and she is right down the hall. Thank you. You're welcome. You're kind of cute. <laughs> Thanks. So are you. Excuse Thanks me. again. <laughs> <laughs> Mallory Agency. Mr. Hamburger, come in. Nice to meet you. Hello, how are you? Fine, what can I do for you? You know, you have a very rugged face. Has anyone ever told you you ought to try modeling? Uh, I thought you had to be good looking to be a model. Well, it doesn't hurt. 
But on the other hand, every once in a while, I have a client who's looking for a particular face for a particular product. Right now, there's an aftershave lotion that you would be just perfect for. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't like to have my picture taken. You never know what someone's going to do with it. <laughs> Are you trying to put me at a disadvantage? Do you always do that to women? You know, I always think of you as that little girl. What were you, five years old when you started modeling? Six. Sweet of you to remember. The most photographed face in the world. Who'd ever thought she'd grow up to be a pusher? A what? You've been a naughty girl, supplying no-nos to your friends. But when a chum gets murdered, then it becomes serious. Or shall I say, customer. Now, you know that that is a ridiculous accusation. And you also know I could sue you for it. Well, the beauty of my position is that I don't have very much. Two suits, an apartment I owe rent on, no stocks or bonds, no boat. So you see, lady, I'm invulnerable. Yes, so I've heard. I just like to make people squirm. I particularly like the way you squirm. You started out accommodating friends and clients. Now it's big business, isn't it? Mr. Hamburger, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Maybe I should just talk to the police. Maybe we could uh, chat over cocktails. You did say you have another suit. Oh, yes, uh, my, uh, my good suit. Great. Why don't you go put that one on and meet me at 4.30 at 1 Main Street? 4.30 at 1 Main Street. One, right. Okay. <sighs> How do you stay so true? Hypertension. I'll do my best to try to add to that. Don't worry, you're doing great. So you heard? Now, 445 sharp, I'm going to excuse myself and go to the ladies' room. You take care of the rest. Don't I always? But this one, I think I'm going to enjoy. You can't kid me. You enjoy them all. Miss Gloria Reed? Yeah. Who are you? My name's Hamburger. Now, you don't have to be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just looking for some information. I got your name out of this book, this little address book. It was one of those names crossed out in red. Do you know a Jane Mallory? Yeah, sure I do. I used to work for her. Uh, I could pick the lock for you if you'd like. Uh, I've already been inside. You want to go in? Come on, I, I put up a pot of coffee. It's necessary that I talk to you. Come on. Shouldn't smoke, it's bad for you. you turn around for a minute, let me see your face. You curious? You want to see it up close? Beautiful, isn't it? What happened? I was in a car accident. I went through the windshield. You didn't go through a windshield. Why does it concern you? Why does it interest you? I've known men like you. Men who kind of like it. Very sick men. What do you mean? What sick men? Sometimes I wish they'd done the whole job. 
You really did make coffee. Yeah, right, so I'll go get it. You just hang in here. Okay. Oh, here we are. Cafe for two. <laughs> ah, for you? For me. You have a sweet tooth. We all have our weaknesses. Let me see your arm. I've been clean about six months. Christ, I can't afford it. If I had the money, I would be right back to it. Well, here's to your staying broke. Who are you? Tell me about the people who cut your face up and who's behind it. There are quite a few names besides yours crossed out in red. See? I think some of these women might welcome some help. What's this all about? All right. You want to know, I'll tell you. I was modeling for Jane Mallory. And she sent us on a number of trips to Cyprus and Middle East. And I found out that some of the girls were bringing back stuff. And I thought that it must be OK. I mean, these were top models. They were making two or $300,000 a year. The taxes were kicking the shit out of them. So I, I guess they thought they could even breaking the law. I think you're in some kind of danger. Something really crazy is going on, and I don't know what it is. But this was years ago. I want you to leave this apartment for a while. Is there any place where you can go? Yeah, my, my friend Caroline's in France for a month. I I have her keys. I, I water her plants. I could go there. Go there. Stay in. Order out. And I'm going to give you my card. And I want you to contact me as soon as you're situated. Now, don't lose it. It's the only one I got. <laughs> Every time I get in trouble, there's a beautiful woman involved. Why is it this one scares me? I'm meeting the famous Miss Mallory. I'm afraid I can't seat you without a necktie. But in uh, Miss Mallory's case, we might make an exception. If you will simply button the top button of your shirt. Suicides. I suppose it's difficult for someone to understand why a beautiful woman would want to take her own life. But uh, often they don't see themselves as beautiful. In fact, sometimes they just see themselves as objects that people want and desire. Yes, that could be frustrating. Yes, well, I'm sure you've known your share of beautiful women, Mr. Were they happy? Usually not. I did my best to cheer them up. It didn't work out too good. Excuse me, sir. That little old button. I hope the food is good. Oh, it is. And the view is spectacular, don't you think? I can't tell. I'm about to black out. Excuse me. 
Now, tell me about the girls that didn't die. Beautiful girls, partially disfigured. And ashamed ever to be seen or photographed again. You've seen what happened to those girls? One of them. Like Gloria Reed, you remember her. Well, then you know that people like that can't be stopped. I might stop some of them. There's a gentleman who takes a psychopathic pleasure in altering ladies' faces for their own personal plastic surgeon, huh? I'd like to meet him sometime and discuss his bedside manner. Would you excuse me? Just a moment. Now, wait a minute. This is getting interesting. Oh, I'll just be a minute. Now, first tell me about Alex Burton and how he fits into the scheme. Alex's wife was an addict. He found out I was supplying her and came to me all in a rage. And then, instead, we became friends. I introduced him to my contact in Marseille, and we became partners. Now, is that enough for you to digest for the moment? May I please go powder my nose? Well, where are you rushing? about our date. My secretary made the reservations. It certainly wouldn't have been very hard to find out. Did he? Another minute, you would have been in the ladies' room. No place safer than the ladies' room. Well, it's a hell of a lot safer than hanging out with you, Mr. Hamburger. Denny's tied into this. Anybody here? You ever get a funny feeling, hot dog? <laughs> too often around here. It's like they uh, didn't lock up too good, huh? Wow. Check out this place. Those kind of pictures always gave me bad dreams. Not me. I kind of like being scared in the dark. <laughs> Check me out. That's what you're going to look like when you're about 60. How about this? That's what you look like right now. You know who this is? This is Jane Mallory. Yeah. One of the most photographed models in the world. I've seen her on all the covers in the magazines. You keep up with that stuff, don't you? That's right. Hey, 
They're covering it. Clyde Denny. Either his most convincing special effect or his dead. I bet on dead. He used to be famous, too, didn't he? Yeah, he spent a lot of his spare time developing prosthetics for a disfigured war vets. Well, so much for Clyde Denny. Nothing. Let's take a look around down there. What, another murder? You know, I put my ass on the line. You're supposed to find a killer, not cause more murder. But the guy you want is some kind of an acrobat, some kind of a circus performer. Steal a hand, not me. I'm still trying to clean the mess up downtown from the helicopter. We're claiming it for everything, OK? Take the goddamn handcuffs off of me. Take the cuffs off of me. Take the stuff out of your hand. You look like a Christmas tree. Hey, get your ass out of here before the media shows up. I'll see you Friday at 10 p.m. with certain killers. Better be there. OK. Yo, with this guy loose, I have to raise taxes. Merry Christmas. Let's go, there's another stiff on the fourth floor. Drop me off here. 
I've got to have a talk with Bert, and I only have one witness. Her name is Gloria Reed. Oh, great. Another beautiful model. Somebody cut up her face. And your father figure. I can't believe this. It's all the stuff I put up with. When am I going to learn? It's at 129 Fraser Avenue, apartment 3. Well, we'll just sit around and talk about how wonderful you are. You're not serious. You're gonna be sorry you came up here. Oh, Wexler, I hate violence. Oh. Ah. Going down? Is Alex Burton here? Excuse me? Is Alex Burton here? It's okay. You don't have an appointment. You can't go in there. No, 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 no. Is Alex Burton here? You can't go in there. Yes, I can. Because of the decline in quarterly profits, there'll be no dividend for this period. Furthermore, I... Excuse me. Well, you must be in the wrong place. Will you uh, check with the receptionist? It's okay. What's okay? It's all right. I, I don't understand. Who are you? His name is Hamburger. Look, I failed economics in high school, but I know that gold fluctuates and the bottom fell out of the silver market a year ago. But drugs, they never lose their value. They only go up. What are you talking about? That a very small, select segment of American big business has shifted to raw heroin as a method of hedging their bets against inflation and the currency change. I'm going to call security. Security is on a coffee break. Sit down, Peterson. Yes, sir. All right, let's speculate that certain private investors wish to control the drug market. Don't you think that's been going on for some time? Don't you think even governments have participated? Don't lecture me. Just tell me who disfigures and murders beautiful women. We needn't tell him anything. I don't think he's going to shoot anybody. For God's tell him. The man you want is Ambrose Castilian. We contact him through his sister, who's a model for the Mallory Agency. Satisfied? That's the name I want. Just needed verification. I'd hate to kill anybody without verification. On Wall Street, when the crunch comes, they'd tell me guys like you usually jump out of windows. Try not to fall on me. Thanks a lot. Cosmopolitan. New Yorker magazine. Mademoiselle. Gentlemen's Quarterly. And Guns and Ammo Monthly. May I present Miss Frances Massé. Presenting Patty Peterson. Pardon me, but aren't you Reggie Jackson, the ball player? No, I'm Jesse Jackson, the presidential candidate. Uh, right on. <laughs> and here is oh, Michelle Crosby. Jackson. Uh, Thank you. Jackson. Thank you very much. History. Now look at Anita Pohl. Ladies, nice to see you. What is it? Don't eat this stuff. It's terrible stuff. You are so tacky. 
I'd try. You know you had no business being here. You couldn't be more wrong. How would you like it if I had you thrown out? By one of them? What, are you one of those guys who likes to beat up on homosexuals? I tried that once. He was the ex-middleweight champion of the U.S. Marine Corps. I left in five rounds. Well, I can see that you would be attractive to all the sexes. And here we have Nancy Castillo. to Miss Nancy Castilian. Nancy alone. Keep this cold for me. Don't eat that. Excuse me, sir. This area is restricted. You can't go in. That's okay. Today, I gotta talk to you. I don't know you. Sorry, I have to change. The whole operation is collapsing. Your brother is panicky and he's killing people. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You're a witness. Maybe the only witness to a lot of it. You've got to be silenced. Yeah, your own brother. You know he's capable of it. Out of here! Don't you think that's ridiculous? I was worried. Yeah, that I wouldn't be killed? Not this time, thanks. So who is he? His name is Levant. He's one of Castilian's servants. I first saw him in London about four years ago. So he had his own sister killed and let you live. Why is that? I owe him so much money. Jesus. You'll say anything. You really know how to lie with a straight face. It amazes me. Mr. Hamburger, there's an important phone call for you. I'd follow you anywhere. How'd you know my name? The girl on the phone said you probably shot someone. Hello, Rena. Someone's watching the apartment your friend Gloria was holed up in. We're out in the street. I hope you got a plan, because I'm really scared. And I don't want to go back to my place. But what should we do? Rena, don't panic. Take her to Shea Stadium. Drop her off at the picnic gate. I'll have Carmine meet her. Shea Stadium? Carmine can't even Rena. get you good seats. Okay, we're on the Rena! Road. But I'm telling you, this Listen. is time we're in over our heads. Listen to me. How come I love you more than a minute? So, Mr. Hamburger is in love. Well, what about it? Well, you're in big trouble now. You're suddenly very vulnerable. So I am. But your friend Castilian is worse off. He's nearly dead. I love fashion shows. Hey, come back here. You have to wait for the police. I'm Carmine. Gloria Reed. You know, I started as a ticket taker. Twenty years later, I'm head of security. Here, let me get this.
Hamburger never calls, unless it's important. Or he needs tickets. But he did call. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to babysit for you until he gets here. Look at this place. Is this incredible? Shea Stadium, home of the New York Mets. I spent half of my life working this ballpark. And what a beautiful park. Huh? I'm a lucky man. Here, watch your step. Have a seat here. Okay. How's about a little coffee? Good. That'll be great. Like I said. You know, Ham doesn't usually call me. Unless it's for tickets. Otherwise, I don't have none. much about baseball. Really? Casey Stengel? Duke Snyder? Marvelous Mob Thromberry? Sorry. Willie Mays? Mm -mm. Where have you been on Pluto? Just take it easy. We'll work something out. Just move the gun away from the lady's head. Shut up! Okay, now let's talk. Or do you want me to dump this refuse over the edge? Take it easy. Throw your gun away! Okay. Just take it easy. I'm putting my gun down. 
Gloria, you really do talk too much. I should have cut your fucking tongue out. Look, we're gonna work this out. Just take it easy. You don't have to die, neither does she. She'll be my hostage until I leave the country. Mr. Hamburger can take care of the police until then. That's the deal. Hamburger makes his own deal. He has a high regard for you. I mean nothing to him. He can still have Jane, Mallory, and Burton, and all the others. All but me. This is the end! <laughs> I got Castilla. Somehow the face was different. But the voice, I should have recognized the voice. That's what confused me. But here we are. And now there's only one loose end to take care of. The couple of the year, you and Alex Burton. Whatever face you wear, you're beautiful. Well, it's gotten me out of a lot of trouble. Of course, it's gotten me into a little trouble, too. But then you know about that. Meaning Alex Burton? came to castigate me for giving drugs to his wife. And he took one look at you and changed his mind. He loves me more than he has ever loved any woman in his life. I can understand that. So he became partners. Well, it is the new international commodity. Better than gold or silver, better than diamonds. After all, De Beers controls the diamond market. They get to dictate the price. That's what Alex wanted to do with heroin. There was one flaw in his master plan, his wife. Yes, well, she did find out about our little enterprise. I mean, he offered to pay her off, but... God, she was a self-destructive bitch. Please, the lady's dead. You're being unsympathetic, darling. I had nothing to do with how she died. Oh, come now. Innocent? Didn't you have the notion of hiring some killed crazy fellow everybody had it in for? Somebody you could count on to do the foolish thing? The noble thing. Oh, yes, how noble I was. I slept with a lady. I warned her. But she turned out to be the wrong lady. Was she already dead and hidden somewhere in the house when I got there? Burton couldn't have done it. He was busy fixing himself an airtight alibi in Chicago. Burton isn't running the operation anyway. He's just the front. It's you. You're getting nowhere, Hamburger. I'll bet you some money you're wrong. All bets are off, Hamburger. Ah. Nice to see you. You had the money up the waters a little bit, didn't you? Create a substitute in a story that I would tell and nobody would believe. Time marches on. Now, did he tell you about the strange coincidence? When they took his wife's body to the autopsy, they found she had sexual relations. The very night she died, she was with a man. Shut up, Hamburger. And now that I think about it, I wonder who that man was. You son of a bitch. Don't tell me you consider him unfaithful. After all, he set it up for you to kill her while he was safe in Chicago. I think what he did was nice. You're a nice man. You were screwing her, and she was screwing me. Shut up! Go from here. How about Rio? What makes you think I can be bought? Who's talking about buying you? I just want to rent you for a few years. Sorry, Miss Mallory, I'm not for rent either. Living with you could be dangerous. You might kill me if I got a headache. Oh, now that's very doubtful. Come on, Hamburger. Why don't you stop chasing ambulances? Wise up for once in your life. You know, we could have it all. You make it real hard. Hard, honey. I make it real easy.
Marina. Hamburger? Where have you been? And don't go telling me any of your nonsense either. Come and get me. I've spent half my life waiting for you to call. And I'm tired of sitting here cooking for no reason. And from now on, if you're not going to show up, don't bother ever showing up again. I never did like two-faced women. It's amazing how greed and growing old make people act strange. At least those are two things I'll never have to worry about. By the way, what the hell was in those green bottles? <laughs>